Okay, folks, we are back here with the Tesla Charger once again. And today, uh, thanks to uh, some software that's been submitted on the DIY forum by Tom Debris, we have got full control over our Tesla Charger. So right now, we're fully connected up. The Charger is, in fact, punched up and online. Uh, we're using a DBC file here that was created by Colin Kidder to interpret some of the CAN frames. So at the minute, we can see we have the mains voltage on the two lines and the mains current. Now, it seems as if the charger takes about six to 700 milliamps on the mains when it comes up, uh, but it's not delivering uh, DC, DC current. Uh, so we're also reading the battery voltage and the battery current at the minute here too. Um, so Tom's program here basically lets me turn the charger on and off, set the set point voltage, the current and the ramp time, which I've left at the default of 500 milliseconds. So basically right now we're delivering zero current into the, the battery. So if I type C1 and press enter, basically we now ramp up to, in theory, deliver one amp. But in fact, we will deliver about a half an amp, which we can see here. And if we look on our decoded CAN frames, we will see that we're getting almost exactly uh, the same reading. So I'm going to stay on this here for you guys and type C2 for 2 amps. And see that current uh, ramp up a bit. So it looks like it's kind of hunting around just over 1 amp on here. Um, whereas on the multimeter we're seeing it doing precisely um, one amp. Now I've set my voltage set point at 360 volts but it seems probably due to these crappy cables that uh, the charger reads about 5 volts below. Now you'll see as we approach 365 here the charger is going to start ramping the current back. So for example if I were to try to increase the current now by going let's say C4 and press enter um, the current will ramp up a little bit, but now you'll see it's starting to ramp back down uh, because we have hit the voltage set point um, that we have specified. So this charger is quite um, intelligent and I suspect that we're not even really hitting uh, a lot of the intelligence that it's got we're just kind of scratching the surface at the minute here so we can see that it's ramping down now so even though i've set the set point current at four amps two amps i suppose it's ramping down uh here because our voltage is increasing on the battery so this current will basically just ramp down until nearly zero so for example <coughs> If I was to change this and say V380 and press enter, we'll now see the current start to ramp back up. My crappy multimeter goes asleep and the current will come up to 2 amps and our, vo our voltage obviously um, is you know coming up as well. If I go back and I say V360 enter the current will basically fall away to to zero now uh, because we're not um, you know because we've exceeded the set point voltage uh, that we have aimed for